out here in this countryside the forest hides something unbelievable and you are invited to come with us and see exactly what that is this little piece of uh, cold war electronics marked with the russian writings belong to a russian cold war nuclear bomb storage bunker that me and eagle eyes my son found deep 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 into a german forest on the eastern front road trip and we can't wait to share that with you if you want to help us out to reach more people all you have to do is watch the video in full don't skip only wimpy skip because the youtube algorithm counts seconds and every second counts for us so are you ready to go deep into that German forest and find this place? Well, come on, let's go then. The Red Army took over many of the installations of the Germans after the Second World War, and then it just developed, developed, developed. And then the Soviet Union came, took completely over and Tons of these camps are around Germany and you can see them here today. A lot of them are completely abandoned and some of them are former absolutely top secret locations. This structure here is almost not visible anymore but it used to be a huge barrack where hundreds of Red Army soldiers stayed and lived but as they're developing the area, they kind of cover them up and in the end, you won't be able to see any of them. This is a huge area. They had their own water plant. You see a huge garage area over here. And here you can see part of the still remaining structure, which is maybe a garage. I'm not 100% sure. This is a former garage for the Soviets here. And you can see Soviet writing still on the wall. That is intimidating to say the least. The Russians were very, very keen on having tons of transportation means and they needed it because they had so much gear coming in and out. And at this location, there was something really, really top secret, and we're gonna show that to you. But this is just the first part of the camp, and uh, you will not believe what is in the second part of this camp. Inside this fence here, lays one of the most secretive locations that the Russians had in Germany during the Cold War, and it's a camp inside a camp, but incredibly well fortified and protected. And we're basically gonna see if there's an opening that we can actually enter. Just wanted to put this into a little bit more context. So this is a huge forest area. So the whole area here is covered with two barbed wire fences fence systems and then you have the crew camp with the garages and all of that you're going to see why they had so many garages here but that's because what's here so they have actually a perimeter fence inside here again and then they have this wall concrete wall with several layers of con um, barbed wire fence systems and that is to protect what is here so it's actually three defensive systems within this camp and uh, you're going to see why this is where it starts to get exciting. We are now in the inner perimeter of this camp. Right away, you can see there's a barrack there. And down there, suddenly, looks like there could be a bunker there. This area is extremely well protected. See that? There's a hallway you can actually crawl into but that is not our objective right now but it definitely goes to a defensive position that the red or the soviet union soldier could take advantage of when they wanted to protect this place because what they wanted to protect 
was just out of this world. You see another building. We just saw a sign, 1974. That is definitely in the Cold War zone. And this is one of the structures that was needed to support what is further in this forest. These structures are so derelict. The last time there were soldiers here was in the early 90s. The Soviets gave the key to the German authorities around 92, 3, 4, something like that. And after that, nothing has happened here. What you're going to see later in this forest is the epitome of the craziness of the Cold War. You're going to see how insane the Soviets were with the paranoia and uh, all of the uh, thoughts they had about the world community. They needed to be prepared and they needed to be able to take out their enemy. And that is what this place is all about. You can see out here in the terrain, there are trenches. These trenches are not for the World War, II, World War II fighting. These are for the Soviets to protect themselves. If there ever was an attack coming this way. But the strange thing is, you're inside Germany. You're inside Eastern Germany. But not only that, where is your enemy? There's no enemy inside your own country. But when you get further up, you're gonna see they really meant business by wanting to protect themselves. Suddenly in the middle of the forest, blown up ruins, completely mashed up. But for why? I couldn't tell you, but something was once here. Suddenly a ton of more building material just laying here. Haven't got a clue what that is all about. It's a really huge area. And everywhere you go, you see this. Storages everywhere in the forest floor. We don't know what they're for or what they're kind of used for. There's actually a door in that little hillside there. Wow, there's a lot of things going on here. No, it's not a door. It's some kind of storage again. Look up there. Oh, what is that? That, uh, that looks to be like a machine gun turret or something. We have to go up and check that out. Wow, it's a lookout position. That means we are on in the inner circle. What the heck is that? Huge steel. Eagle eyes. This is a door. There's a handle there. Is there something in here? That is very weird. And there's another there. Hmm. But this is exciting. This is something we didn't expect to see. There's a turret, some kind of machine gun or guard tower. Crazy stuff. Did you know that you can become a World War II History Hunter team member and the artifacts here could be passed on to you? In this manner and fashion here, by creating beautiful World War II dioramas in this place, you can be the future keeper of something very, very special by the history and the history hunting that we share together. Check out the link in the video description. You can click that and you can become a patron team member if you want to. Different kind of perks with for your eyes only videos, travel vlogs, restoration projects, all of that good stuff. And if you want to know more, check out the supporter videos in the beginning of each month. But now let's continue our little adventure. There's most definitely an inner circle fortress that had one purpose, and that was to keep 
anybody out from here that didn't belong here. And I'm just gonna very briefly see if I can get in here. Yeah, I can see there's a metal thing there. See this? That's number 19. Number 19 it says, okay. Let's get this flashlight going. What the heck is going on? There we are. Sorry about that. Wow. Yeah, it's a guard tower. Inside the camp. Taking care of business. Anyone came here and they weren't recognized, let me tell you, the standing order was to shoot the kill. Wow. wow, that's amazing. Middle frame here, middle frame there. Maybe they could have shot themselves in. Wow, Eli found a huge thing here. Hook. There are so many things in the ground here, it's unbelievable. And there's another sort of storage cut out here. And look here, the original barbed wire fence system is growing into the trees. And here you can see, this is a mound. I think they created this mound with sand just to have a higher vantage point. And if you come over here, you can see it's actually a fighting position right there. How crazy. And I can see why, because now we have full control of the lower land here. And this is another one. This is not a training ground for soldiers or anything like that. All of these are with one purpose, and that is to protect the investment, which is over there. You can see their barbed wire fencing system is everywhere in the ground. And uh, I do see some features in there. And there are some features down here I think we're going to have a look at these defensive positions first. Again, part of the underground world of the defensive system around here. That is pretty cool. And I think this is like a little, it's a tiny little, no, there's actually a room here. Okay, so several rooms. Eagle eyes, you have to see this, come on. Wow. There's a bench. This is exciting, but it's nothing compared to what we are gonna show you later. Uh -huh. Just stops there. Munition storage or shelter. We really couldn't tell you, but hey, crazy stuff right here. Do you want to see? Huh? Yeah, go and have a look. I'll just wait here. You can go inside. There are two rooms, just the same. There's a room here, and there is this crazy room there. This is amazing. There's actually two installments in this forest, which is amazing, just amazing. We have something in front of us here. I can see a bunker there, an eagle eyes, can you see over there? There's a turret in the forest over there. There's something special about going in the terrain where the Soviet Union kept the most sec valued secrets. There's something very special about that and uh, that is also what we do. We do go out, we try and find incredible stories for you to watch. And we do the research, we travel, and we share it with all of you. So thank you for being here. And thank you for letting us have the opportunity to go out. So if you want to help us out, you can watch our videos longer. For every second counts, the YouTube algorithm counts seconds. And if you skip, you're not helping us. So please don't skip, watch the videos in full, and then you are helping us out. This is the inner perimeter fence for what is really the reason for us being here. So now we have one outside concrete wall. 
we have another inside concrete wall and then we have the third barbed wire fence system which was also electrified and you can see these poles here they are exactly that and now the exciting part starts to find one of the most incredible positions that I think we have ever been to. Oh yes, it's not finished. If you want to help us out to reach more locations like this, we have this little super thanks feature. That's your opportunity to help us out to reach more incredible locations and share even greater history with you. Yes, we have found traces of the Russian Cold War uh, location and activity in that German forest and in part two. Yes, you guessed it because this will be a too long video if we just have it in one part. We will share something absolutely spectacular with you right here. I'll put a link in the description where it says more here. And you find that and when you see part two, you're going to see some interesting details, perhaps like this. Here you can see the fence around it here. And suddenly there's a bunker. There's another one of the turrets. There's something there. So this place is going to learn us or teach us so much more. And I, I, I was blown away to see what we found there and uh, it's a very special place. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a patron team member. Thank you for your kind support on the PayPal thing. Also, thank you all of you who watch, subscribe, comment. It is greatly appreciated. And as always, this is the way you can help us out, yada yada. <laughs> all right, we'll see you out there in part two where we reveal the true purpose of the uh, position and uh, what is out there.